guys back America my 13 here, and this is my custom Lego car review. And the reason I'm reviewing this car, I, I I made this like a couple years ago, I think. And the reason I'm reviewing it now is because I'm going to be destroying this and making another car similar to this, but it's going to be different and wider, like two studs wider or something like that. And that's why I'm reviewing it now. And those of you who are asking for stop motion, I haven't really been getting stop motion requests lately because I made a stop motion earlier. But don't keep asking me for stop motions. If you guys want to see a good stop motion review, better than mine, go to Jumping Jack Studios. He makes awesome stop motions. All of his stop motions do not disappoint. So if you guys want an all the time stop motion, go to his channel. And he makes far, far better than stop motions that is. So go check that out. And uh, yeah, let's, without wasting any time, let's get into this car. So, as you can see, there's a Bruce Wayne minifigure in there, and uh, this is a Fabuland car base. That's why it's very weird looking. So, that's a old Fabuland car, if you guys know what Fabuland is. Go check it out. Just go to like, Bricklink and look up Fabuland. You'll see it. Um, got this uh, vehicle uh, thing there, and uh, a smaller hood for the roof. And if you open that, you can see Bruce Wayne in there. It does have some working doors. You do that. Working doors. But it leaves a hole in there, which I'm not too happy about. But it's okay. Um, got some headlights there, as you saw earlier. A back. The back is pretty cool. It's very sloped. very slick. Very cool, I think. I'm probably going to get a better windshield. But, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.